we say that self is taking the decisions but when there is a pain in the body uh, especially when there is extreme pain then uh, it is as if the body is making the self think about it so here it looks like the body is taking the decision or the self is influenced by the body so could you just explain that little bit see as it stands today for most of us we are not even aware that the self is there now we think it is all body number 1 number 2 <coughs> when we start seeing that self is there the body is also there you know these are two things even then we are not very aware of the self and we are not very aware of what is happening in the self right now when we are not aware of the self and we are not able to see what is happening in the self right and we are not able to see this transaction between the self and the body right transaction of information that is instruction and the sensation then what is happening is that i am so you know kind of um tied to the body that any sensation that takes place in the body has you know seems to have an effect on the self why because we are not aware of this self because we are not aware you know able to see how this transaction of information is taking place you know how this sensation which is going on in the body is read by the self and how this self gets influenced by that sensation so today if you see even in the ordinary sensations the self is getting involved it is reading that sensation by choice but it is not conscious of it so we are making this choice the self is making the choice consciously or unconsciously right but unless i am conscious of it i cannot see that i am making the choice even with ordinary sensations right extreme pain is one case but even the small you know ordinary sensations for example you know your wife offers you the, you know food it lunch for example and you start eating and you find that you know there is no salt in the vegetable or there is excess of salt right and you get angry and you throw the plate very simple thing you know there was less salt so you would have put a little more salt there that's it so simple if there is excess of salt put some lemon put some ghee you know and it will be balanced so there were so simple you know solutions available but what is happening this self is disturbed so there was some you know food and i the self decided to eat that so i eat, i eat that and i took the test of it and it did not match with my expectation of the test now just because of that i feel disturbed i get disturbed i react right i start shouting i may even throw the plate now are we conscious about even the small phenomena like this today we are not so now when you become aware of this self and you start observing this phenomena you would realize that yes here is a sensation taking place in the body so some taste of the food which indicate that there is less salt 
and how do you know less salt you read that sensation and compare with your expected sensation right it matches you think it is a good sensation if it does not match it is a bad sensation and now on the basis of that comparison you get disturbed you get angry for example there is a you know habit of eating chillies in bhutan so one lunch time one person can eat you know some 10 15 chillies and there are many people who come for the workshop you know, who cannot eat one chilli even 10 times of their food right so these different cells have different difference so what we have done in sansthan is you know when we have a workshop where all the you know, different people with different tastes are there we will prepare the food with very less chili or no chili and we have prepared one this thing you know <clears throat> uh, this which is uh, very commonly used in maharashtra and also uh, now we found that is used in bhutan also you know so this is a preparation made of chilies only so lot of chilies and lot of this ginger put there so those who want chili you know they can take it mix it in their food and eat and they have enough chili and they feel that it is very tasty and those who do not eat chili I mean, that the basic reference is not there they can you use, use this simple food you know which is already there with very little chili or no chili so you can see this you know that even in ordinary sensation the self is reading the sensation by choice but it is not aware of it so it reacts okay, without being aware now when it comes to this and when we can understand this we can understand that you know when it comes to this question of case of extreme pain right we anyway get lost but we can see that if become aware of this ordinary sensations and how we are taking decision slowly we can develop our capacity to be aware right in extreme pains also and when i can be aware of this extreme pain the sensation that i am reading right and i am reading by choice then i will not react i will respond right so when i see that there is an extreme pain in the body and i am getting this information from the body i am reading that sensation from the body then i will think in terms of what to do to relieve the pain what we generally do is we start crying for you know due to the pain which is a reaction so if there is extreme pain in the body and if i start crying will it relieve the pain no so what i am doing is a reaction not response but if i am aware if i am conscious and with that consciousness i am reading this sensation from the body then i am at least you know balanced within myself i am in a state of harmony right and with that state of harmony i am not looking at this you know body and the state of the body with a sense of responsibility and i think in terms of what to do to improve upon this you know state of the body how to get rid of that extreme pain <clears throat> but you see many people you know they react they start crying right they start shouting all this is reaction but all this is reaction because you know they are not conscious of the self they are not conscious of this transaction taking place between the self and the body right so they have they have some liking and they happen to get some sensation which is not of their liking so they react they shout do all kind of things yes 
But this is something you have to start studying, you know. We all have to start studying these small, small phenomena. They are small phenomena, but they are very important phenomena. And we are not understanding them because we are not observing them. We are not conscious of them. And this one is small incidence of my getting angry and throwing the plate will become a source of fear for the wife all through. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, this I think will need a little more exploration, but I can certainly see that uh, when it comes to taking the decision to read the sensation, um, I can see that, uh, like in the example of the salt, sometimes if I'm thinking things, I may not even be aware of how much salt there is. Uh, if I'm watching TV or if I'm talking to somebody, I sometimes don't even notice these things. Yes. yes. True. And interestingly, the, you know, the same company salt that you buy, you know, different time, it has different salt, in a degree of saltness. So you are not aware and you put the same quantity of salt. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, then, all these things we have to start observing. Mm -hmm. Sir, uh, my question is to Ganeshji uh, with reference to uh, one idea about that is uh, when we talk with reference to body and uh, our self, uh, there was one uh, reference that uh, our body, okay, with reference to Sharmila Ma'am's question with uh, extreme pain. So if it is an extreme pain, there is a point where our system doesn't work. Means we become pain. Uh, is that the reference uh, that uh, Ganeshji was taking with reference to conscious and unconscious choice of the self? So in that condition, what happens? Where a uh, body faints, I mean, uh, their system doesn't work. So what happens? What is the state of the self in that condition? That is number one. And number two, when self is taken to be conscious, how that self be called unconscious with reference to the choice. Ganeshji, if you can or could yeah. put light on that. Yeah, so I'll take the first, second question first. Okay, sir. What I'm saying is that self is a unit, you know, of consciousness. But self may be aware or self may not be aware. So I took this example, this shouting, you know. If there is less salt and you are shouting, right? Who is taking the decision of shouting? The self or the body? Obviously the self. Obviously, this self. Are you aware of this? In self being aware of self's decision, are you talking yes. of that? Yes. Okay. Okay. So, with reference to experiencer and the experience as you related, so that can be taken into account for exploration. Yes. That's good. So, and what we are saying, when we say consciously or unconsciously, we said with awareness or without awareness. Okay. So, okay. okay. Uh, got it just in word value, sir. Okay. <laughs> Not it. Yeah. Because I was thinking in relation to self conscious, that is, that is why. Yeah. Okay. So, self is, so, a, and, it is an unit of consciousness, but yes, it can be aware of itself or it may not be aware of itself. Okay, sir. But an, so another when, thing. When it is aware of itself, it knows what is happening, right? Okay. When it is not aware of itself, it will not be able to see what is happening in itself. Good. Uh, but if it is one unit of consciousness, is it possible, like our dynamic IP, that to someone's consciousness be lived for certain time and another consciousness takes place another moment? Uh, we will come to that slowly, you know, one by one. But let us solve this problem first, you know. So okay. the second question is clear that we are saying that this self, which is consciousness, 
can be aware of itself or it can be unaware of itself is yes, that true sir. okay yes sir yes now when you look at this now with this uh, idea <clears throat> whether self is aware of itself or not aware of itself what do you think things as we you know take this today are we aware of ourselves most of the time or we are unaware of us ourselves most of the time uh most of the time we are not unaware because you see as breathing also we are not aware that we breathe but we do that yes true because it is it is it is so close sir it's not uh, very much possible to segregate all the time uh, the decision sometimes you know it is mixed up that is what we think uh, yes sir uh, and uh, related it is, uh, it is all mixed it is all mixed because we are not aware of it yes we are not aware of it we are not observing it therefore it seems all of mixed up if we start becoming aware of it every moment then you will see that it is not all mixed up i can be aware of what is happening in me and what transaction i am doing with the body and with the world outside it is possible that is what we are saying yes sir uh, now the... if you look at this fainting thing you know yes what is happening is that when the body is in ordinary condition okay you may be aware of your interaction with the body but when there is some extreme pain in the body and you are getting that information from the body about the extreme pain which you are not liking right so because you are not liking that extreme pain or the sensation of that extreme pain you decide to withdraw from reading that sensation from the body because that is anyway your choice so when you decide to withdraw from reading that sensation from the body you do not know what is happening to the body so in that sense you feel fainted you know you become unaware of it by choice but if you really study now you will find that most of the time you are unaware of the body most of the time you are fainted most of the time you are not aware of the status of the body and if you are not aware if you are not observing the status of the body then you have no record no memory of it because you have not even noticed it but what is happening is that only in extreme cases we see that yes we have no, not taken note of it we have been fainted but if you now study start studying yourself and your body and the transaction between the two too you will realize that most of the time you are unaware of what is happening in the body as far as body is concerned you are fainted most of the time but we only take note of those extreme cases so now what we have to do we have to be aware aware of our own self every moment we have to be aware of transaction between the self and the body as and when this transaction is taking place yes yes sir so pertaining to these as doer you have uh, justly told that uh, as doer sometime it's the choice of the self to use the body or to or not to use the body as an instrument that's good yes but with reference to thinking sir you have given one example that uh, if uh, self wants that it may not use the body but for thinking we use brain and that is the part of the body this Isn't we have to does? see now this we have to see whether we need to use the brain or we are unnecessarily involving the brain okay that choice may be made yes that's true yeah. okay sir thank you in fact because we are not aware of this transaction between the self and the body 
many times we are involving the body you know even when it is not necessary yes that's true yeah. but the example sir for example when you are confused taken. right when you are confused you are not able to decide you know what to do what not to do about any particular you know happening for example right now in that confusion is it useful to give some instruction to the body when i am not able to decide something in myself no that's good that right. yes but we keep passing on this information and that creates so much a problem for the body another example you know if you get angry right what happens to your breathing does it remain normal or it becomes abnormal yes it becomes abnormal abnormal now you are angry on somebody else and you are troubling the body Why yes that, that we understand yeah your breathing becomes abnormal your heartbeat becomes abnormal right even your blood pressure may go abnormal now why all this is happening because you are passing this information to the body you know, that you are disturbed which you don't need to okay i am angry fine why should i pass this information to the body let body be in harmony i will work out what to do with this situation when i work out what to do with the situation then i will instruct the body to do whatever you know it, i consider this to be done through the body okay sir deepthi yes, ji thank you deepthi tapi wala ji ji namaste sir namaste namaste deepthi ji sir sir uh, uh, human being is a great creation by the god so uh, we can experience the true happiness by uh, by the self with the help of the body body is a instrument to experience continuous happiness now what is self concept activities for students about the ideal self self this is my first question then the another one is what is ideal self and self identification what is the sources of Uh, sorry what, what is difference between consciousness and self consciousness yes. first two questions we will study as we go ahead in okay. the next two lectures okay we will study about this self in more detail okay sir there okay, we sir. will be able to see that okay sir now being conscious and self conscious what we are saying is that self is a an activity as a unit of consciousness right and yes. this self can be aware of itself or it may not be aware of itself so when we are you know when i am aware of myself i generally say that i am self conscious you know i am conscious of myself when yes. i am not aware then i am not conscious of myself so this conscious being conscious is used in the sense of being aware okay sir yes but first two questions you know we will uh, see as we go along you know the next thing to study is that now we see the difference between self and body right yes sir. now let's look deeper into the self you know what this self is you know what is the situation of this self presently what it has to be right all those details we will see yes sir yes sir jo do god 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 uh, they also want uh, to be human being because it is it, this experience from uh, by the self with the body that is only po possible in uh, by the creation of this human being ye experience jo hai sir truly happiness ka wo hum keval is इस सेल्फ से इस बॉडी में ही एक्सपीरियंस कर सकते हैं 
is it true important, the important thing is that yes yes we are there as a human being in coexistence of self and body yes sir it is possible for us to be aware of this self yes sir right this is one important thing second thing is that when we become aware of this self we also have the capacity to decide to ex explore and find out as to whether this self is in a state of harmony and happiness or a state of contradiction and unhappiness so that is another possibility and the third possibility is that if we want to see this and correct it that basic reference of natural acceptance the basic reference of inner voice you know basic reference of conscience is already there with us so because of these three things it is possible for me to be aware of myself it is possible for me to be aware of the status of the self at this point of time and it is possible for me to improve upon you know yes sir my status ensure my self development all these three possibilities are there for us as human being therefore it is considered to be very important yes sir see this being a human being is considered so important because of these three choices we have but we don't make those choices so we waste our you know being human what we are saying is that let us make the right use of this being human where we have this three capacity capacity to be aware of the self capacity to be aware of the status of the self and capacity to improve upon the self yes sir. and sure this self development yes yes self awareness ultimately leading to self realization self you know enlightenment self actualization all those yes, big words that we have been you know talking about all those things we can see now you know if we realize that we as human being has these three possibilities open to us and therefore we must work on them we should not you know spend our life just for accumulating physical facility which is less than one fourth of our program yes so we need physical facility but life cannot be invested only for physical facility there is far more important things and this important thing is to be aware of oneself to be aware of the status of oneself and to progress to develop our own self you know reach to the state where we are in a state of you know understanding state of knowledge in the state of feeling of love and compassion and therefore in a state of harmony and happiness continuously and this is all going to happen at the level of self yes sir very true sir yes thanks a lot sir thank you in that sense being human is very important yes sir sir uh, so, sir there are so many animals type of animals but uh, whatever human uh, human being is do can do no one can else other other yes. uh, animals they cannot do these things whatever three factor you have mentioned sir yes so we have the possibility of doing all this but And we that, are doing what is worse what is worse than the animals yes sir so we have people like hitler who killed 60 lakhs people in his lifetime you know yes no lion would kill so many people you know so many animals so that's why this human being is a supreme amongst all the animals yes so human being can be a big asset for this this nature this existence or it can be a big liability for this nature this existence yes yes it has both the possibility Yes. Sir. Yes. Thanks. Yeah. Vindas. But then we have to understand that this possibility is there, and we have to exercise the right choice. Yes. Only it is only then it is possible. Otherwise, it is not possible, sir. We have yes. awareness is most important here, and the yes. right uh, utilization of awareness is also most important here. Exactly. So being aware, then being observant. 
and then being you know committed for the improvement of the self yes sir yes right dipti ji uh, sir you have uh, uh, said that we will be discussing in detail about the self in the further sessions Uh, but uh, i want to uh, put forward my curiosity about the capability of the self if we compare the two situations of uh, excess of salt in the food and the extreme pain in the body with a situation when uh, i get an electric shock if i accidentally touch my finger my hand to a live current carrying wire i get an electric shock and my hand is pulled back almost instantly and if i compare these two uh, uh situations with this third one the time period is very small that means the uh, our that the self is taking the sensation from the body about the electric shock making the decision that this is harmful and passing on the instruction to the hand that it should be removed and the hand obeys it and it almost instantly removes it away from the electric wire so uh, my curiosity about it is that uh, this entire exercise that happened in myself i was not at all aware of it so is it that the speed or the capability of the self is much more than we can consciously think of or that means the our self is much more alert and uh, uh, you can say quicker than we can consciously think of yes true true you know this thinking is a much slower process than this you know speed of the self responding with the body or with anything external thinking is just a part of it you know and most of the time this thinking is about the past yes sir yeah but this self i mean we'll see as we start studying this studying into the self we will see how fast the self can be you know and okay. we are being very slow as respect to that body is of course much slower than the response of the self yeah that is true that you uh, uh instantaneously almost instantaneously i would say you know uh decide things when you are interacting with the body and act accordingly that even thinking if you see you know uh the uh, the speed of thinking is much more than the speed of what we do at the level of body yes right but even at the level of thinking you can see that you know uh, you are uh, uh capacity to see things you know directly is much faster than your capacity to think so uh, is it And possible to be what aware thinking, what you see through thinking and what you see through direct observation even the quantity of information is much diff- very different yes yes, yes. true So, uh, but we don't see, you know, all these things you know lot of this self investigation is required but at least we can set in the process okay fine sir yes thank you so and much and that is what we are trying to do particularly in level 1 course we are just trying to set in this process of self exploration self observation right self verification and a major part of this is being aware of oneself so if we start becoming aware of oneself and start seeing what is happening in this self then lot of things will uncover it, itself you know that's true thank you so much sir uh, sir some i have observed in myself uh, that at times you know i decide on something like i have uh, been ruminating over things and deciding the pro cons etc but uh, uh you know i uh, what actually comes out or what i do finally is something else so 
how how come this uh, incongruence which is there and it's not necessary that what i do is something uh, bad or something sometimes it it turns out to be much 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 better than uh, even what i was thinking or it it turns out to be something which is very different from what i was thinking so yes. what is this no that you have to find out now you have to look within and see how did you come to that you know decision because you are doing something which you have decided this is very clear now you had a long process of thinking right mm. and you think that you know you have spent major time thinking something otherwise but who has taken the decision to do something that you have done now or you are doing now ultimately you have taken the decision right so now you have to start looking within and you know trace all this you know this thinking that went on and you know how you came to this conclusion finally because you came to this conclusion so you have to start tracing so first you have to be you know aware of yourself then you have to see what thinking is going on then you you have to see what has been the sequence of thinking which ultimately led to this decision so all that now we have to find out for ourselves in fact this so, is very interesting. once you start looking into yourself then you have to take the major responsibility the other cannot help much the other person can only draw your attention towards those basic rules of consciousness but you have to see it within yourself so you mean that this one um, thinking which goes on of which we are aware and underneath that there is some other thinking also which is going on which led to that decision yes yes in fact many times you get angry to somebody you know with somebody okay he did not behave properly and you are very unhappy you know and you have all kind of thoughts you know that you should kill him and all punish him do this and do that you know destroy his things and all that and for hours you do that and finally you say that let's you know forget it you know there is no point okay now who did all this i myself we spent hours thinking of what how to take revenge and i myself dropped the idea because i thought there is no use you know it will lead to more problem than what it has led to so that was my decision to think of all this this is my decision you know, to leave it and forget about it and uh, what happens at times you know that uh, some students ask me uh, some questions and suddenly i seem to give them an answer and the answer seems to be so appropriate that i am myself i'm surprised that from where did this answer come so how come these suddenly these thoughts they just come up and that also happens very spontaneously so yeah this is what we have to understand slowly you know now at least we have been able to see that you know there is body and there is self these two major you know entities have been or activities have been identified now we have to look at this self and see the details of the self you know how things are happening what things are happening on that we will do okay yes so it is true what you are saying is very correct that many times you know when you are posed with a question you get answers which you have not thought of so what is this process happening in the self which is giving better answer than what i thought of so all this we have to investigate and find out so let us start becoming aware of ourselves let us become aware of what is happening in the self what kind of activities are happening what thinking is happening what desire is happening what imagination is taking place on that you have to start becoming aware then we'll be able to see many things you know. 